Hi everyone, welcome back to the fourth and final episode of the Declutter series. It was a little bit bittersweet that the series has come to an end, but I'm sure there'll be many of them in the future. I had just finished work, hence this full glam makeup. I did forget to film my outro and intro on the day that I filmed the last Declutter. I just want to thank everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared, commented anything nothing goes unnoticed and i read every single comment and they are honestly so beautiful i just feel very very grateful and blessed this final episode is a little bit all over the place i don't know what was wrong with me that day i was very jittery i think i was a little bit anxious but we do focus on eyeshadow palettes we focus on eyelashes a lot of colorful liners and glitters it's it's a yeah it's all over the place but it made sense in my head, so just go with it if you can. I think I'm gonna upload this video and then I think I just kind of want to get into like maybe makeup tutorials, hauls, colorful eye looks. You let me know what you want to see in the comments and I will provide that. I've already edited all the footage I have and it's quite a long video. I even lost interest in the first like 10 minutes because it was just eyelashes. So it does get better, it does get more interesting. I hope you enjoy and I feel so honored to have had you join this declutter series with me. Okay, that took so much longer to set up than expected. This is the lash drawer. It is absolutely crazy at the moment. So let's just get straight in. A lot of these have been used and a lot of them I do wanna keep once I know what's actually in there because I have forgotten about so many. Off the bat, Tati Lashes, TL8. These are absolutely destroyed, but I do still use them. They're actually my favorite lash at the moment. I do think I'm gonna keep them. Morphe, I use these for really dramatic looks. I can't even remember what they actually, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these and keep these. Heavenly Lashes, I think I won these in like a little giveaway. They haven't been used, um, but I'm going to give them, like donate them, declutter them. AL Beauty, I have not used these before. I really do want to use them, see what they look like, so I'm going to keep them. P. Louise, I don't know where this is, so I'm just going to throw it out. Doll Beauty, these lashes are actually insane. I do think I have two pairs of the exact same lashes, so once I find them, I'll declutter one. Oh, is this it? Uh, how do I know what they are? Oh, oh no, these are two different. So once I find the same one of the Aisha, I will declutter them. I think it's the Aisha one I've got. Peaches and Cream. I don't think I've used these before. They actually look really pretty. They look like just like a lash extension kind of thing. So I do want to try them. I'll keep those. These AL Beauty. I have not used these. Oh no, sorry. I like all four lashes. I don't know where I got these. I don't know. Did I get set? I don't know. Uh, anyway, they look stunning. I'm going to keep these. Oh, guys, I need to be brutal, but I'm going to keep them. I need to try them. Be perfect. I didn't really like these lashes. I thought they were very, like, a little bit flimsy in a way. Very natural, but I'm going to declutter them. Model Rock. I love these lashes. I'm just going to keep all the Model Rock ones that I find. I think my favorite is 266 or 662. I think it's 266. Holy Grail. I think I'm just gonna... I feel like it's gross if I declutter a lot of them that have been used. So that's why I think I want to keep some of them. But, I mean, you can always clean lashes to a certain extent. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get rid of these. Dimple Colour, they did send me these. I have not used these ones yet, but I'm just going to declutter them. Another Heavenly Lashes. Beautiful. Very natural, those ones. I'm just going to declutter those. These. Ooh, they are lovely. I'm going to keep these. Oh my gosh, these tatty lashes, I don't even know what they are. They are TL1s. They are just ruined, but I love, oh, I love tatty lashes, so I am going to keep them. I need to figure out a better way to hold them. This is another pair of the TL1s. I think I cut them a bit stupidly. I think I'm just going to get rid of those. Uh, bombshell lashes, I've never worn these before, so I think I'm just going to... These are massive. I think I'm going to declutter them. More dimple colour. These ones I did use. I think I like them. I can't even actually remember, to be honest. I might keep these and give them another shot. Got the iconic Lily lashes. Is this Miami? Of course. Gosh, I... These are so expensive. And for what? Honestly, for what? I'm going to keep them, sorry, because they were like 40 bucks. Not in this economy. We're not getting rid of them. AL Beauty. 
Yes, I do have a few pairs. Oh, I think I'm going to keep these and declutter them. I wish I was sponsored by Monster Energy because I am obsessed. It's so bad, but it's good. So glad my mum doesn't know how to use YouTube or work YouTube because if she saw me drinking that, I would be in so much trouble, even though I'm like 25. Anyway, so let's get some bigger piles out. I don't know what, what is this? Oh, this is just like gold leaflet paper, which I, ah, which I think I might just keep in case I do more creative looks, which, oh my God, there's gold everywhere, which I know I will. I'm just going to keep, I might push it down. I'm just going to keep that. TT was the first brand of lashes I ever used. I bought it when I used to work at Target and this was expensive back then. This was like $30 for these four, even though it's probably not expensive, but I mean, little me who 15 at the time and didn't earn much money. Beautiful. I just think I've passed the Chi Chi lash era. So nothing wrong with them. I'm just going to... Yuck, that sound was so gross. I'm just going to donate them. I think these are from AliExpress by memory. These are stunning. And for my more dramatic looks, I love to stick them on, like glue two of them together. I do think that I'm going to keep these just because... I I love them. I don't like the packaging, of course, but they're only cheap. They were like five or six dollars for this whole thing. So yeah, keep those. These are also, oh, she glam. I think, oh, like, look at those. No, okay. <gasps> Pink. Okay, I've used a, a pair, but I, why do I not remember? I am keeping them just simply for the butterflies. I love trying out lashes. I love when brands want to send me lashes. I don't know. I feel like I can really just give like an honest review. Anyway. Huda Beauty, I think these are Olivia. Olivia, I've had these for years. They are my favorite lashes ever. I broke them actually the first time I wore them, which was the first day I bought them, but they have been holding on for dear life. Look, look at them. It's time that I, ah, it's time that I let go of these beautiful lashes. Huda Beauty, if you see this, these were my absolute favorite. They are iconic, I love them. Our beauty, I'm just going to get rid of those. I feel like I don't want to think too hard about it or I'm going to want to keep them all. Be perfect. Oh, these are pretty. I've used them. I've definitely used them. Maybe I'll get rid of them. Okay, can I just confess something which is so embarrassing? When I first started putting on lashes and buying fake lashes, um, I actually didn't know that there was a left and right eye. I just thought that they go on whatever eye, it doesn't matter, until my best friend Tia asked me to put on a pair of her lashes when I think we were, I don't know what it was, maybe for my birthday, we were doing something. And I said, yeah, sure. And she said, you know, there's a left and right one, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I had no idea. Um, so yeah, she taught me something that day. Um, so a lot of these lashes that I got very early on in like my makeup journey, they're cut so silly because I didn't know. Anyway, I'm going to declutter them. TL10. Can I just say that I remember when I bought like all these tat tatty lashes and I think it was maybe like three or four, I want to say like, yeah, three or four years ago. I placed like a big $110 order. I remember the night I placed it and I was so excited to receive them because like all the it girlies had these lashes and I wanted to be an it girl. I spent, gosh, I mean, actually, I should probably put the invoice up. I want to say it was like, yeah, 110 20 30-ish dollars. These are Lily Lashes in Rome. They look like they've never been used. Sorry. How did I forget about this $40 pair of lashes? I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them. Mix. They sent me this for their collaboration with Barbie. I love you, Nix, but these feel so flimsy. I don't know if they're meant to be like a natural pair of lashes. I think I'm going to declutter them as much as it hurts my soul. I'm just not going to think about it too much. Yeah, they're going to be decluttered. Model Rock. I really hope I can find... A pair of the 266s because they are my absolute favorite in the world. I don't think I've got another. Oh, no. All right, they can just go in the bin because I think I've already used them. Keep all these model rock lashes. I do actually do clients. I wouldn't say they're clients, they're just very close friends of mine and my sister. Um, and they love these natural lashes. I keep all of those little model rock ones that I find. I don't understand how I buy so many lashes and I don't use them. 
And Heavenly Lashes, I'm going to declutter them. These tatty lashes have nothing, so they can just go in a bin. TL Mitchell African Adore these. I am keeping these. They are absolutely destroyed, but they are not going anywhere. They are so beautiful for when you do like a bold kind of creative look. These really make the look pop so beautifully. So yeah, I'm going to keep them. Oh my goodness, look at them. I don't know if I actually bought these or if I got sent these. I, I don't know, but these are stunning. I'm going to keep them on my bench actually, because I want to use these next time I do a look. These TL7s haven't even been used. I'm going to keep them. Uh, TL5, can you see how I cut them so... Oh, so silly. Get rid of those. Well, declutter them, sorry. Bombshell Lash. These are beautiful. Oh, I feel like I want to give them a try because I haven't tried them. So, yeah, we'll keep those two. Holy Grail, they so kindly sent me these. I, I think I'm just going to declutter them. I feel so bad. Keep. TL10s. Uh... Mm. Oh, these are my two six sixes my last pair oh far out they are absolutely stunning the most beautiful lash in the world these remind me of the huda beauty olivia ones that i just cluttered so i'm gonna cherish these with my life tl4 stunning they're destroyed but i think i'm gonna keep them and try and clean them up lily lashes luxe ones oops they can just get decluttered you got ga your gal your gale these are stunning I'm going to keep them, actually. I don't even know if this is still a brand anymore. I think they are, but they so kindly sent these to me when I was first starting out makeup, so that was really lovely. I'm going to keep them. Yasme. Oh, Rebecca Capel. I'm obsessed with her. She is beautiful. I think I wore these when I did my neon look. Either way, I'm going to declutter them. Holy Grail, these ones again. Ooh, very wispy. Very, very beautifully wispy. Maybe I'll keep them. These are from Sheen, I want to say, actually. Half Lashes. I... Oops. Gosh, I stack these a lot. If you can see the bottom two, they're quite darker. That's two of them stacked, and I really love the look of it. So I think I'm gonna keep them. Heavenly Lashes again, they, that's stunning. Oh, my little sister would love these. I think I'm gonna declutter them. Uh, Moderati, Heavenly Lashes, declutter again. My Mrs. Glam, Mr. F no, sorry, Mrs. Feisty. Stunning. These are so, so beautiful. So thick. These are very, very similar to the Mitchell, like the TL Mitchell in the Taddy Lashes. I really, really love these. So I'm going to keep them. Peaches and Cream Declutter. Holy Grail. I love these. These ones down here, the Princess Shades are my absolute shades. Did I just say shades? The Princess Lashes are my favorite lashes. So I'm going to keep them. Tatty Lashes TL22. I don't really like these that much. So I'm going to declutter. All Four Lashes. I'm going to declutter. They're very... They're beautiful. I'm going to declutter them though. Two, four, six. These have been used, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Oh, there's the other bit to the bloody P. Louise thing. But yeah, there's nothing in here, so you can just go in the bin. Doll Beauty, Samantha. I, no, I know I had two of these. Is that the other one? No. Okay, I'm just going to put this in the bin. Blue lashes again. What are these? Melbourne. Mm. I'm going to get rid of them. Is it? Individual lashes, I cannot for the life of me work out individual lashes. I find they're so flimsy, but I haven't given them like a proper shot. Like I've tried to use them a lot, but I feel like I can practice and be better. So maybe I'll keep them. AL Beauty Winnie Lashes. I'm just going to declutter them. TL9s. Oops. Why did I do that? Let's just declutter. No, let's just declutter. Uh, what are these? They can just be decluttered. TL10. Oh, I've got two TL10s here, so I'm just going to declutter this pair. TL5, these were not my favourite, so declutter. I think I'm going to keep these, they're pretty. I don't know what this is. Athena painting palette. I think I bought this from Amazon. This was, actually, if this is what I think it is. Yes, oh my goodness. And it's been used like once, really. This was a thing before the Made by Mitchell curve cases were a thing. I think that's why I bought it. I saw someone on Instagram use it for their colourful looks. I bought this so long ago, so... I kind of want to keep it, but I do have the curve cases. Although I don't think the curve cases have every shade. Like they don't have like a, well, I don't think they have like a bright red shade. I actually can't really remember, to be honest. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for now and we'll come back to it. Let's clean this out because it is absolutely so gross. We're just going to maybe stack them up and put them... Like that. I don't know. I just don't want this drawer to get messy again. And I know myself. Let's see if... Let's just see how we go in setting them up. And see if... Oh, no. I don't feel like that fits. 
see if any of them will fit like that. I feel like I'm quite triggered because my OCD is really coming into effect here. Like I feel like I have to have them the same brand with the same brand. No, this is not gonna fit. I think I'm just gonna, like I feel like if I can see the brand, that's fine. I need to show you out here. <laughs> Look at him! Have you have you decided you love the lashes? What do you think? He's not sure about the camera. He doesn't know what to think of it. What do you think, Bubby? <laughs> Mum. He's just laying on all of the lashes. He's so bloody cute. What do you think, darling? I think if like they're the same brand, I'm gonna, and not in this big packaging, I'm gonna stack them. So like the Owl Beauty or AL Beauty and then the all four lashes, I'm just gonna stack them because it's just so much easier. Tatty lashes, I, let me actually see if they fit because I do love these lashes. I think out of all the lashes, these are the ones that I do actually reach for the most, to be honest. Tatty, I'm just gonna kind of stack oops like that i am gonna keep those on the top though because i don't want those lashes to fall out maybe i'll just keep these two ones like that and see how they go Morphe, kind of stacked oops like that and then i've got all of my model rock lash oops my model rock lashes so maybe i can just store them like that yeah i think that'll be good these two sixes are just gonna sit there because they are my favorite for the rest of my life and i do not want to lose them in this drawer again i have just sorted them all into the same pile as such so they are all gonna sit just kind of stacked up like that what's the bet that some of them are not gonna fit no that's okay that's all right we'll just put the individual ones in the corner here maybe these can just sit like that i'm just gonna put these two at oh at the back like that i think that's the last drawer done i think that's so much better than what it originally was eee! okay welcome to probably one of my favorite drawers that i have our rhinestone gem drawer we've got a lot of bases colorful eyeliners pigments glues probably yeah my favorite drawer i absolutely adore it i've got some hair stuff mixed in here as well i guess let's just get straight into it the hair stuff i am gonna keep if you know you know this dry shampoo the best dry shampoo i've ever used in my entire life the only one that actually works for me so keep Gisu hair oil. It's, there's nothing left, although I do want to keep the bottle. I remember I bought this and probably like two or three days after I bought it, I accidentally left the lid open a little bit too much. All of the hair oil drained out. So I was only left with probably like that much and my heart was shattered, but there is a tiny little bit left in there. So I'm just going to keep it. And I think the bottle is so beautiful as well. I don't really know if this does anything for my hair, but it looks beautiful when I put it in. So yeah, keep that. Hair wax stick for when I do my slick back buns. This really helps to keep the flyaways in place and it's brand new. So keep that. I also got this hair oil from Beauty Bay. I actually saw Millie McCarthy, a TikToker. I saw her use this and... I bought it, of course. Um, I really do love it. This makes your hair so beautiful and shiny. So as you can see, it's very loved. I'm going to keep that. Then I've just got all my combs. I had another comb. Oh, I've got all my combs here. So I'm just going to keep them. Oop. So these are little cut out, I think like stars, clouds, everything that my sister printed off for me for my looks on her Cricut. I love these, so I'm going to keep them. I just need to find a better way to store them. Let's just go through all the glues because honestly, I need to buy a new one and I should probably throw all these out. They are absolutely filthy. I actually really adore the Kiss glue. I don't like this blue duo because I don't like the little applicator thing. I think this... Duo is the one that I like. Yeah, so the one that has a little brush on it, I really, really love. Should I get rid of these and just buy a new one? I think I might maybe keep this one and then get rid of these three. I'm just going to chuck them in the bin because they're so old and gross. Our NYX Glitter Glue. This is an honest game changer if you love using pigments. I really, really love this. I'm going to keep it. Keep this. I also do have a bigger duo glue. I'm not quite sure where that's gone. I'm going to keep these two. Cut Carver by P. Louise. This is my secret weapon to a beautiful sharp cut crease. Very much like Vaseline, although I find that this is just, I don't know, it's just a little bit different, a little bit better. So obviously absolutely keep that. 
This is my little gem pickup. I got this from Sheen, I think. Sheen for maybe like, oh gosh, a dollar. Not even. Keep that because it's just so easy to pick it up with this rather than a pair of tweezers. Now onto my hot glue gun. I saw, I think her name's Cut Creaser. Cut Crease? Cut Creaser on Instagram do this. And she created like this whole makeup look with hot glue. So I jumped on the trend and I created it as well. And I was obsessed with it. I think I'm going to keep this. I just don't know where I'm going to put this. I mean, do I keep it here? I don't, I don't know. I kind of don't want to. But I'm going to keep this. Now on to one of my absolute favourite sections ever. These two made by Mitchell Electric Mango and Brownie Points eyeliners. We're going to keep. I love these. Ooh, and this one as well in milk. Keep them straight off the bat. Oh, actually, I have some more eyeliners from NYX that I need to throw in there. I actually got these three Vivid Brights in PR, actually, and this one. I got them at separate times, but I'm going to keep them all and just take them out of the boxes. P. Louise Winter Rose. I've got two of these, so I'm just going to declutter that one. Keep Touch of Frost. I'm going to keep beautiful, beautiful blue. This one's like a little bit of a darker blue, but I'm going to keep both. Green with Envy. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't even know if that's... Is this the same color? Oh, no. So these are two different greens. Um, I do think I'm going to keep them just so I can experiment a little bit more. The Acid Rain bases, they are staying. This one, such a beautiful, beautiful peachy shade. I'm going to keep that. Oh, I don't know if I've used this red one. Let's have a look. Oh, I must have. All right. Keep as well. Limelight Limited Edition. I bought two of these when they first came back because I was so stressed I was going to miss out. So this is like a backup, but I do adore it and I do want to keep that one. These are also dirty because I think a pigment has leaked. Keep this one. I think I have two, yeah, two of these. So I'm just going to, I guess, declutter one. That was yummy yellow, by the way. Keep, keep, keep. All the P. Louise eye bases are really staying. To be honest, this is such a beautiful, beautiful baby pink color. I mean, come on, look at that. Stunning. That's staying. Danessa Myrick's color fix, they can stay. This is my second limelight. I'm just going to keep both. Look. Oh, I have not used this. What is this? I assume this would be like a... Oh. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, is that like a mauve kind of color? That is beautiful. I'm just going to take that off my hand because these do stain. They stain for quite a few days, so just be weary of that. My favorite pastel liners from Glisten Cosmetics. They are all staying. I actually did a giveaway at the start of like my makeup journey and I had these in there. They are just my favorite. I don't know if I've got like a purple one. I can't remember. I think that's it. For oh, the purple one's there. I'm so silly. I'm going to keep them. Danessa Myrick's Color Fix. They, are they dry? <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. I literally paid like $45. I think it's $45 for each of these. And they're dried out. What the? F that is so annoying. That one is not as dried out as the rest. No, guys, I'm so disappointed. Oh. And they were so beautiful. That is really disappointing considering how expensive these were. So I guess I just have to chuck them out because I can't get them back. My Suva eyeliners, love. They are just staying. They are incredible as well. I think that's it for the Suva Hydra Fixes. Let's go into our neon pigments. These are Glam Vice. Glam Vice is not the name of the company anymore, I don't think. I think it's, I don't know what it's called. I'll have to have a look. I'm not throwing these out. These are like the only loose pigments that I have. They were also quite expensive. I'm just, yeah, going to keep them, play around. I do not really use neon pigments a lot. I don't want to throw them out and then have to buy more. Oh, there's the orange one of the... Glisten Cosmetics. I think that was the one I was looking for when I got confused. They can all stay. They are not going anywhere. The only thing I would probably buy is a yellow one. We've got two glitters from In Your Dreams. I don't know if this makeup brand even exists anymore. They are beautiful. I actually really forgot about them. So I do want to keep them. 
Owl Beauty. This is a glitter as well. That glitters aren't supposed to be in this drawer. This is not the glitter drawer. We're going to keep that. All of our Rude Cosmetics eyeliners I really do love. They're probably dried out now, but I want to keep them. All of these ColourPop Pot eyeliners are dried out. Gross. Um, I've had them. I actually, do you know what? I'm going to find an invoice of when I bought these. Because I thought I, I think I bought them. These were the first colourful kind of-ish thing that I bought for my makeup journey. It took such a long time to get here from America. They're all dried out. I can't, is that? Yeah. They're all dried out. And I don't know if the Duraline is going to break. Oh, that's, it's not dry, but you, you just can't use it as eyeliner. Yeah, I think I'm just going to throw all of these out, to be honest. The pots are so, so cute, though. I can't do anything with them, unfortunately. Hopefully, one day, I do make it onto Colourpop's PR list. I think that would be, like, my ultimate dream. I didn't actually throw a lot out, so please don't be disappointed in me. I knew this would be, like one of the hardest drawers to do because I really, if you follow my TikTok and my Instagram, mostly my Instagram actually, you will know that creative colourful makeup is like my thing. I don't really do like nude kind of makeup at all really. Maybe like once in a blue moon. I feel like with creative makeup I can really just let myself go. I do want to bring, let me grab it. I wasn't going to show this drawer because it's a freaking mess but I guess we have to. But I'm just going to bring everything out and bring it up into here so bys loose glitter vials i got these from kmart oh not long ago i have not even touched majority of them so i'm gonna keep them i got sent this in pr when nyx did their collaboration with the new avatar movie and like i said i really hate throwing things out that companies have so kindly sent to me so i do want to keep this and it will probably go in like a little sentimental box glitters all right peaches and cream <gasps> stunning keeping okay Keeping. What is this one? Is this a blue? Oops. <gasps> Dragonfly. Holy moly, that is absolutely beautiful. Sorry. Staying. Uh, P. Louise Shine Pigments. I got these when I did my P. Louise Pro course. They came in the little makeup kit that you get. Now, these are all beauty creations glitters. I absolutely adore these glitters. This chocolate one is sickening. It is beautiful. Do you think I want to keep. Oh, do you think I want to keep them? I think that is all of the Beauty Creations glitters out of this little section. Blushing Rose Cosmetics. Their glitters are beautiful. Sorry. So then we've got this really beautiful purple one that is absolutely stunning. I do want to keep that. More Blushing Rose Buttercup. This has like a shift of green to it. I think it's very, very beautiful. Tiara. This gives me Peaches and Cream Mermaids. It just has such a beautiful shift of blue, gold. Don't think I'm going to be getting rid of any peaches and cream glitters. They are the best. They are the goat. I adore them. Disco Star from Pastel Roses. Absolutely beautiful. I might try and insert a photo of when I used it on my lips. It was stunning. Jar. I don't know if Jar Cosmetics is even a brand anymore. I don't reach for these. I do. I might keep these two because they are gold and silver. And then I might just... Declutter. I'd, I'll keep this one as well. But I will be decluttering Yonce. It's like a beautiful coppery color, but I just, I've got a lot of them. Makeup Workshop. I, oh, I was also influenced by Cherie Morris to buy these. These are kind of like a chunkier kind of glitter. See how that's very finely milled, whereas this one is quite chunkier. I might keep those two. She's all that. Kitten, Mermaids. Oh, they are absolutely staying. Bombshell. Ooh, I, don't, I never remember using this purple liner. Might just declutter that. Gatsby, if you do not have Gatsby, oh, you are missing out. It is stunning. Uh, Carla Cosmetics, so expensive, but so, so beautiful. I think one of these little glitter vials or glitter containers is like four, I want to say 40 to $50 Australian. So that's quite a lot. Keep those. Bombshell, oh, I don't think I'm going to use this color. So I'm just going to declutter that. AL Beauty. Oh, that is stunning. That is like a really beautiful blue. I don't know if that's coming through on camera. Keep. I think I want to keep all of these, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep all of these. 
Okay, these are the three drawers, all clean and tidy. I'm so impressed. Next, we have our last drawer, I think it is. This was my eyeshadow palette drawer. I have a lot of palettes, just... I kind of took them all out when I was trying to find a certain one I was after. We're going to start with this drawer and then move on to the piles. Let's just get started. So, Sample Beauty... I actually don't know if they are even a brand anymore. Beautiful, but I have all these shades in other eyeshadow palettes, so I'm actually gonna declutter these two. I think I wanna keep this Rain Neutral palette. I actually haven't even used that, so yeah, I think that's super beautiful. I wanna keep that. Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons. I adore this palette. I think it is absolutely stunning. It is so well loved, so yeah, no question about it. Just keep it. Sultry by ABH. I haven't even used this a lot. I do wanna keep it. I love all the little shimmer shades. And I love this grey kind of shade, so I think I want to experiment with this a little bit more. Made by Mitchell. This is one of my absolute favourite palettes in the world. It is ruined, but I love it. So I'm just going to keep it. I'll probably clean it after. This little NYX Barbie one, NYX actually sent me. I love that pink shade. And it also has like a cute little... I didn't realise this was real, but it's actually a real lip gloss. I think I'm just going to put that in my little sentimental box. This was the first ever eyeshadow, well I say eyeshadow, it's like a glittery eyeshadow. The Essence Bronze Palette. These are all shimmers. This was the first one I ever bought, so I feel super nostalgic at the moment. This will probably go into my sentimental box, I reckon. Too Faced Peach Palette. I got this for my birthday, my 18th birthday, so that was 9, 20, 21, 3. Wait, how old am I? I got this seven years ago. It still smells good. I'm keeping this. I'm never throwing it out. I I have no self-control. This little Mecca Max palette, absolutely beautiful. These shades are stunning, so I'm going to keep that. This is perfect size for travel as well. Essence Bronze this way. I've never used it, and I don't think I will use it. I have all these shades in other palettes, so I'm just going to declutter that. Beauty Bay Earthy, beautiful green palette. And this berries one, I absolutely adore it. So I'm just going to keep both of these. Sleek. This was absolutely stunning. I adored this highlighter. Look at that. It's beautiful. Although, it, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's broken. It's Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. Soft Glam, ABH. No question. She's staying. Jar palette. I do not use this or kind of reach for it anymore, really, but I do love that Aisha shade. It is stunning to set the lid, so I do think I want to keep it in case I do have clients again. NYX Ultimate, I know that's bright. They actually just sent me this in PR. These shades are brilliant. I'm going to keep it and experiment with it a little bit more. Cash Beauty. Oh, this is a really beautiful eyeshadow palette. I really, really do like it, so I'm going to think about that one. Vacation from P. Louise. I cannot remember the last time I picked this up, so I'm going to just declutter it. Modern Renaissance, absolutely beautiful. Not going anywhere I'm going to keep. Ooh, Shape Shifter. This is a blush and contour -y kind of palette. I forgot about this, to be honest. Beautiful from Be Perfect. I think I'm going to keep this. I really genuinely forgot about it, which I'm sad about. Alfie is sleeping. ABH Norvina. I just... I haven't reached for it in so long, but this was like $100, so I don't really know if I want to get rid of it. I'll think about this. Glam Light Cake Palette. I have not used this. I've used it maybe like two or three times. I'm just going to declutter it because, yeah, I don't really reach for it anymore, unfortunately. Beauty Bay Pastels. She's staying. This is one of my favorite palettes ever. It's so beautiful. The shades are stunning. This is so loved. Morphe Madison Beer. I absolutely love this. This is such a beautiful everyday palette. This would be perfect for MUAs if you have clients. I do want to keep this. I really do love it. Scott Barnes Chic Cheek Palette. I'm going to keep this. P. Louise Unlock Your Creativity. My dogs have destroyed it. <laughs> this is actually so beautiful. It's very chunky and thick, which is quite annoying. These are all the shades. I'm definitely wanting to keep this. Too Faced Natural Nudes Palette. I'm keeping this. I use it for work all the time. I really, really love it. This is another staple if you're an MUA. Beauty Bay and Jade Palette. I... Oh, hello. I didn't know that was broken. I find this color palette really hard to work with. Love that all of these like orangey red shades are together, but then I just don't really understand 
the rest of the palette. It does have some beautiful pastel shades in there, but I cannot remember for the life of me the last time I reached for this, so I'm just going to declutter it. Beauty Bay Fiery Palette. I adore this palette. I think it is beautiful. Beauty Bay is one of the brands I will always recommend for eyeshadow quality and formula. It is just incredible. Keep this one. Beauty Bay Bright. It's got the perfect amount of matte shades and then just glitters in there as well. Keep. Now these two Beauty Bay palettes. Beauty Bay palettes are so, so, so similar. This one is an all matte palette, no shimmers at all. It is absolutely stunning. This one I've actually never used before. I did have one, oh, actually, I think I might have used it. I did have one a few years ago. I actually gave it to my little sister because I didn't think I wanted it. Um, however, I did repurchase it at a cheaper price because I changed my mind. This one, you can see there is some shimmer shades in there. So, so similar. So I think that I'm actually gonna keep this normal bright one and then I'm gonna donate declutter this one. P. Louise Pro Book. I got this in my P. Louise Pro course in my makeup kit and I color coded every single color. I wrote down the little names on a label maker. I'm going to keep this absolutely beautiful shades, beautiful formula as well. Another P. Louise palette, if it's going to focus, it is just beautiful. Her formula is lovely as well. I think I'm going to keep this and try to reuse it because I did forget about it. NYX Ultimate Mattes. I haven't reached for this much. I've used this shade a lot. It is lovely, but I think I'm going to donate it. There is this random eyelash book from my P. Louise Pro course as well. I'm going to keep that. Made by Mitchell called the M mm palette. I don't, I don't know. I've hardly used it actually. I feel like this could have been made into two palettes, like just split down the line there. Then you've got your greens and your warms. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. Blend Bunny blends palette, stunning. She's not going anywhere. Blend Bunny have such a beautiful, beautiful formula. I really do enjoy this palette. Keep Cosmic Brushes, Delicious Delight. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the shift of this one. See that? It's like a green here and then it's like a pink. It is absolutely beautiful. I really, ah, probably just ruined it. I really love it. See what I mean? Green, pink. Green, pink. It is stunning. So, yes, I do think I'm going to keep that. Another little Beauty Bay palette. This is one of my favorites. I'm definitely keeping that. Beautiful shades and beautiful formulas as well. Carnival Remastered palette. Alfie stepped on this like 20 minutes ago and broke the mirror. So, amazing, lovely. I've only had this for like a month, which I'm bummed about. But it was an accident. He definitely didn't mean to do that. I keep this one. I actually have the original right here, which is so loved. This is my ride or die go-to eyeshadow palette. So I just thought that I could buy the remastered version. It doesn't obviously have all the shades or the highlights on the left. Nevertheless, it is still beautiful and the shades are still the same. Not all of them, of course, but yeah, very... Wait, is it all of them? Hold on, it could be. No, okay, I just had a proper look. It's not all the same shades, but it doesn't matter. It's still so, so beautiful. So I actually think that I'm just going to get rid of this one, really. They don't make it anymore, which I'm very sad about. Should I keep this for sentimental value? I don't... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to... I'm so bad at... I'm going to think about it, okay? I'm going to think about it. The OG Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This has been through the absolute ringer. I feel like this lighting is not doing it any justice, though, which I'm quite sad about. No, I'm going to keep... Am I? This was the one that she had out before Morphe, I guess, remastered it or reformulated it behind her back. So I kind of feel like you definitely can't get this anymore. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. Carnival Love Tahiti. This mirror is also broken. I love this palette. It is beautiful. Very, very bright. I just don't really reach for it anymore. So I think I'm just going to declutter that. Fee, what is this? 35B. I think this is the colorful one. Oh gosh, this was the OG colourful one that I used. I used this before I started using the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro. These shadows stain like no tomorrow. I mean, all reds and purples and pinks stain a lot, but this was next level. It was crazy. I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and declare it. This was the first, besides the Essence Little Glimmer Shimmery palette, this was the first palette that I actually got as a gift from my boyfriend. I think we were only freshly dating and he bought me this. This was before Morphe had an Australian website, so it came from America. It took a long time to get here. Yeah, I'm, I love it. I mean, I think it's so beautiful. There's so many brown shades. I'm going to keep it. Morphe, another one. I think this is a purple palette, maybe. Oh, no, I lie. No, 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 I lie. Okay, are they the same? 
Am I tripping? This is the first one that my partner bought me. Yeah, I, I'm confused between the 350 Supernatural Glow and this one. But I remember this one is the first one he bought me. This is the first one besides the Essence palette that I had and I absolutely adore it. So I think I might just declutter this one and keep this one. We have our Carnival Interstellar Gagging. Literally beautiful palette. I adore it. Everything about this palette is just perfect. I'm absolutely keeping this forever. The last little mini palette is this little Tarte Flirt palette. It is so cute and little. I just don't reach for it and I have a lot of these shades in other palettes. I'm just going to declutter it and someone else will get a lot of use out of this, I am sure. We are still keeping... Our feet is sleeping. Remy sleeping too. We are still keeping a lot more palettes than I would have liked to originally. I just can't part ways with some of them. I feel like I have such an attachment for some reason. Still not sure about this ABH or Cash Beauty. I really do want to keep this Cash Beauty one. I have so many shades like this, so I think I'm just going to declutter it. ABH, I just, I really want to be on the ABH PR list, so I feel like I want to keep everything that, that I've ever bought. I do have a lot of her palettes, so Modern Renaissance. I think Soft Glam is under there somewhere. So I think I'm just going to declutter this as much as it kills me. So I don't know if I mentioned, I'm just going to declutter this one, I think. Yeah, I'm going to declutter that. Alright, this is everything we are getting rid of, decluttering. A lot of it is like hiding underneath these palettes. It's quite a lot, so let's put that in a pile all together and I'll show you the final product of our declutter box. These are the two declutter boxes. I absolutely definitely need a third Alfie's sleeping again. Definitely need a third box to put everything. I know this doesn't look like a lot to some, but this is honestly like a lot to me. And it's really hard because I feel like I've worked so hard for all this makeup. I'm really happy to be getting rid of it. I feel cleaner. I feel happier. And I just can't wait for everyone else to enjoy this makeup like I have. That wraps up our declutter series. I can't believe it's over. I feel like I just started with the first draw. I had the best time recording this, editing it, posting it, finding myself in a new community. That's all from me for this declutter series. I'll hopefully see you in the next video.